is good, my dudes. What is good, family? I'm talking about my dudes. <laughs> I got the back wheel on there. Now I'm straightening it. I put another um, bike inner tube in it. And I'm going to ride later on today. So I'm going to make a video with that. I'm thinking, should I spray paint my helmet black? Or should I just leave it yellow? How it is now. Because um, my girlfriend, I like that color. Because it's her favorite color. So I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. But of course, we're not going to be running with headlights today. Um, um, one of the family members just um, hit me up. He was talking about recording me professionally. Remember LOL from yesterday that I had told you guys to go subscribe to? Um, yeah, he had just hit me up and was um, telling me that he would record me professionally <laughs> in the UK. Because he, he said that um, if I come to the UK, then he'll um, grab me a bike, any bike I want. So I was like, alright, my dude, I'm going to come out to college. So yeah, I'm going to go out to college, go up there probably with my girl. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see for, uh, that's, that's like a, that's a blessing, man. I appreciate it, man. Now, right now, I'm trying to get this tire lined up with the shock in the back, because the shock is like the straightest thing that's on the bike. And you don't want to have your tire turn like this, like to, <coughs> sorry about that. You don't want to have your tire turn, because <coughs> when you're riding, it's, it's going to look weird. It's going to look weird if your tire is turned this way. Or a little bit like off and the chain is just the chain not gonna be grabbing it right or the same thing vice versa if it's turned this way and you're riding it's gonna look like it's, your bike is like out of alignment like if you're riding straight your tire is gonna make like okay if the, the tire is straight if you ever looked at a bike like coming down the street any bike like a dirt bike scooter and if the back tire is not like aligned perfectly with the um the shock or align in between and adjust it right and the chain has the right tension then it'll look off it'll, it'll be out of alignment that's what i want to say the bike will it'll look like it's slanting out of alignment if you ever know like if you know what alignment is so i got the tire on still pumped up this is some hard rubber i'm telling you guys this is some hard rubber so first thing i'm gonna do when i go out is um ride on the street for a little bit then i'm gonna take it to the field and just Right for a little bit. I'm gonna have to take off this, this um, the the um, shifter side of the engine, and um, probably put that that homemade um starter recoil closer, a little bit closer because yes, the other day when I was riding with my other tire, not this tire, the other tire, because I just got this one yesterday, as you guys know. When I was riding with the other tire on this bike, and I was coming back from uh, Winn-Dixie because I was getting some more decals from my bike. As you see now, we have the decals and everything up on the bike. So, um, when I was riding yesterday, it was like, come on, something like that. When I was riding yesterday, or the other day, I wasn't riding yesterday, but the other day that I was riding, I um, was just giving it a little bit of gas. And when I put it in third gear, first and second gear was cool. And I was revving it. I was only going like half a throttle. Not even half a throttle. Probably like a quarter of a throttle. And when I was trying to give it full throttle, it will like bog out on me and then start acting stupid. So I tuned up the idle when I had brought it back home. And then my tire went flat on me. So I was like, dang it. It's always something. So I know that it has a problem with not getting enough spark to the engine some type of way. Because if it's bogging out and I cleaned the carburetor, I did everything. I adjusted the carburetor correctly. I did every single thing that you could think of um, for it not to do that. So it has something to do with that um, homemade starter thing that I put on there. So I'm going to fix that and um, make it get a better spark. But I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to record everything that I do today. And I'm going to make a vlog today. I'm going to try to ride around a little bit today. Um, and then put my bike back up. And then we'll ride some more probably tomorrow. I'm not sure. Maybe tomorrow. Um... Take your child to work day. I might try to stay home so I can ride the whole day. I'll see about it. Um, but the police might not be too happy about it. So take your child to work day and then I'm at home. <laughs> Riding my bike across the street. But it's all good though. I wish we, like my friend still trying to get his um, KX fixed. He he doesn't know. Like I gave him the man, the, the people's number. Because his, okay, his bike. It doesn't shift down. It doesn't shift down or shift up into a higher gear. It doesn't even go into neutral. 
So um, I went over there and I was like, it's the return spring inside of the engine. It's the return spring. Trust me, it's the return spring. Every dirt bike has it. If you if you can move your shifter up and down and you don't feel it like catching gears, it's the return spring. If if it if you can't move it, then it's locked up in there. It's like broken. Or it's just like jammed some type of way inside of it. But those two that's the two things that happens on dirt bikes. So that never happened to me. He has a used KX um eighty that he got from his cousin for like I don't know, probably mm -hmm. like 700, and now he only rode it for like two days straight, and the clutch, um, the clutch spring, you know, like the spring, the return spring that pulls the shifter back and keeps it in place, so it shift ups and gears and everything. That spring is what he needs. Um, he said that his dad was slowing down at the stop sign, like he was just cruising. His dad was slowing down at the stop sign. He pulled in the clutch, and then he had pressed the brake. Like how you do on a normal bike? How you do on any bike? And um, he was shifting down, and it wouldn't shift down. So he cut the bike off, and um, he he tried to push it, and then he put in the clutch. If, if you know about bikes, then you can pull in the uh, clutch and move the bike, but you can't like if you let go of the clutch, it's not gonna move. On the Chinese bike, even if you pull in the clutch and, and it's in gear, it's not gonna move. I don't know why, but that's just how they designed these bikes to be. So yeah. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. I wanted to ride yesterday, last night. I'm probably going to go try. Well, no, I can't ride tonight. I don't got nobody to ride with anyways. So, yeah, let us let me put this back tire on. I'll have to wait till my mom come back. I don't know what time she's coming back. Or I might just push it upstairs and then take it outside like that. Because this thing, this thing easily weights like 200 pounds. No lie. This thing easily weights like 200 pounds. That's probably how much my friend, um, two, um, the 85 week. No lie. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Go. Video. I'm talking about video. <laughs> video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and, yeah, just like and subscribe, man. Go to everybody else's channel, all of the family channel that watches these videos. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't mind the background too much. There's a cup right there. He chilling. You know, like, just don't worry about that right now. <laughs> he was just chilling. He was chilling. He was going outside with me later on today. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you like. Please subscribe. Peace.